Hi, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and today I'm going to do a quick explainer video about which products we cannot consult on with Straight Smile Solutions. Now, this video is, I apologize, it's a long time coming. I probably should have had this up many years ago, and it's come to my understanding that this is long overdue. So there's a few products that we cannot consult on. Um, I've consulted with my liability insurance, and this is the position that I take, just because I haven't had first-hand experience with some of these products. Now, that doesn't mean I haven't tried reaching out to the companies that make these products to ask if I can get first-hand experience. I actually have, and I've done this with other products before where I had no experience it wasn't something I thought I needed or was really interested in but I still reached out to them because y'all asked me to because you guys wanted help with these cases and I ended up going to their courses I'd audit them um, that means I'm not paying for the course I'm not really interested in getting certified I just want to sit in the course um, uh, and sometimes I'm blown away and I'm like yeah this is totally a product that we should be using you know and sometimes I'm like meh if somebody wants to use it I'll help them I have never been in a situation where I've said no I will not do this so it's always a benefit if you are listening and you're from a company invite me to come you know invite me to come and audit like your full class not not a fluff fluff um, hype class but the actual training class that doctors take that's the one I want to take um, extra bonus if you'll compensate me for our travel but um in any case, that's that. So this is the list of the some of the appliances, and I'm sure there's way more. These are just off the top of my head and the why behind it. So again, I just want to clarify, anything that's on the list is not anything bad. It's just something that I don't understand or I don't feel comfortable. Now, I'm going to turn these into two couple. There's two different buckets here, and, I'm, and I don't even know if I know the difference. So I'm just going to read them off in a line. Children expansion appliances, I'm all for that. Let's do it. Let's do it night and day. I'm cool. I don't care what brand you're using. If it's not a brand that, or myofunctional, if it's not a brand that I'm directly trained in, I won't be able to help you with that brand. You'll need to go to someone there. And, and if you're thinking about signing up for our services, do check with me before you do, if you're not sure if it's one of these brands. Um, I can help you with the aligning of the teeth after the children's expansion. No problem. Night and day. Easy. Okay, for adult expansion devices, that's an airway thing. That's not something that's not something an orthodontist really should be doing. That is in the lane of the general dentist slash sleep specialist. Um, so I don't like to overstep. That's not my specialty. That's y'all's specialty. And I know it's not. It's independent specialty and it's open to whatever right now. But I really believe that should be its own specialty. So I stay in my lane and I don't do adult expansion. Just my only time I've done adult expansion is surgical expansion as a part of jaw surgery. And yes, I've done that. But that wasn't something that I'd be training GPs to do anyways, nor would I consult on that remotely. So for that, that is my position for all the adult expansion products. Again, not saying it's bad, just saying that that is the reason why. Um, as far as aligning the teeth after adult expansion, um, because of the complexity of that, again, it's not that I wouldn't help you with it. It gets there's a lot of complexity in aligning teeth after adult expansion um, and side effects that can occur. And I'm not saying it shouldn't happen. I'm just saying it, I really don't feel comfortable doing that remotely, but I've done it. So I think it's better that you contact whatever company you're working with to ask for help with that. So anyways, that's pretty much my position. Hopefully that helps you.